used to play down here back in the 60s. This wasn't one of our go-to places, but it did have the attraction of the stream here. And what you see there in the stream, that that bedrock, that's that's original. Okay, that's not anything anybody put in there. Uh, this, the sides is definitely something that's been reworked since I was here as a kid. But I thought I'd detect down here along the stream. And I got a signal in the 85s, and I, I think we may have silver here. Um, I think you can see maybe. Focus isn't too good. There you go. Now that we've got, got a bead on it, there's a, what looks like a silver rim right down there. Put these roots in the way. Oh, just popped it out. It's silver, guys. I can see it from here. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, it's, it's, if it is, it's big. Yeah, it may not be what I thought. I thought it was a coin, but it's, uh, how about that? Is that, like, too cool? I think it's silver. It's not what I thought it was going to be. But, boy, how, how definitely period it is. Can you see that? That's got to be, I don't know, that could be the find of the year for me. We're going to have to do some research on this. If you live in the area, you know what this is, and you know that that, that store, Hutzler's, if you live in Baltimore, you know Hutzler's. I mean, generations have known that store, and uh, lo and behold, this looks to be some sort of, I don't want to rub this at all, it looks like a silver brooch that, uh, you see the back there, some uh, interesting uh, clasp design. It was laying right on edge. It was really just up like that, and all I could see in the hole was this vertical rim. That is just too cool. Uh, I'm just just flipped out about that. Great, great find. Oh boy. I don't know if it's silver. I think it is. Just a great find today. Awesome. Get back to you later.